Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Let's Play Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Sam. Hello. <laughs> so, um, like the beginning of all episodes with Sam, we are going to do the axe flip. And I know it's been a, it's been a while, but um, I just remembered that he has a ton of... I can't tell what they're saying in the chat, so I'm just going to hide that. Um, he has a ton of uh, things to help complete the finished product of the awesome tree house. So, um, oh, I gotta be on too, don't I? Blink, there we go. Here we go. All right, so starting with seven and X flip. Oh, wait, 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 is that? Oh no, I'm like, it landed. It didn't land, six. Five, drop, four. Oh, that would have made it. Last one, last one. No. So it didn't make it this time. That's okay. Oh, I really thought that one was like this. This way, it looked like it was. Never mind. <laughs> um, you'll have to excuse me. My voice is going out on me a little bit. <clears throat> I think I'm coming down with a cold. Oh no! Hashtag cold. But that's okay. Um, for now, where are we going to stick these at these lovely awesome things? Uh, tell you what, I can move them right up here. Move, move, right here. And this is just going to be me moving a bunch of planks. So, not too much excitement, but I will walk through and show you what all we have done so far. And where we're at with things. For those of you that are just now joining the episodes of the Let's Play, it is a huge series. I think we're on like episode 53, 54 by now. So I will try not to be a uh, mouth breather this episode. <laughs> My nose is kind of clogged, a little clogged. Not bad. But everybody gets colds and it's okay. Uh, by the way, it is day 27 of No Shave November. We've got, uh, how many days do we have left? Four more days? Three more days from the time that you're watching this. And on Friday, I will do the big shave. And uh, we'll start that video. Um, I probably won't release it until either Saturday or Sunday. But depending on which one, I can get it edited on. Because that one I do edit. And we'll do awesomeness through there. And let's see, there, done. Boop, 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 boop. I wish I could do like some kind of, uh, well, no, I don't, I don't want to do a giveaway for charity because then it's like giving you a reward for being charitable. And that's, that's not the point. It is to raise awareness and to, um, give you the opportunity to donate to a charity without actually having to donate any kind of money or monetary value. I guess it's just, it's time. Time is what you're helping with. Okay, that's one entire stack. So I will show you what we did. Um, when we first started this, we just started out with the base and I was just trying to figure out how to make it work and everything like that. Um, we still have hidden stuff back in there. Looks like one of them has glitched since then, but those are the original axes that we started with. And then do I have something over here, maybe? Mm, nothing. And then hidden inside here, inside our little axe sawmill, our eyeballs from Blobby. Thank you, Blobby. Billion eyeballs. Uh, we've gotten little presents here and there. And then inside, oh, wait, wait, wait. The hidden clock. That was, I don't even remember who placed it, but somebody placed a hidden clock in there. And then we came up and we built this all up, made the split up here at the top. And then I started building this floor. After that, I built this thing here, which is the conveyor belt. I'm going to have to tear that down once this whole thing's complete. And we'll fill in this hole, this wall. But here's presents from all the fans. Amazingness. Thank you so much. Uh, and I don't remember if Samper Life is followable. Like, I don't know. I can't remember if I turned on follow or not. But if it is on, feel free to follow him into a game if you want to. And if you ask for a signature while I'm playing the Sam, you'll get a Code Primate signature, not a Samper Life signature. All right, if 
I remember right, I wanted these to be a stairway. So should we continue on with the stairway just right in the middle? Yeah, let's do that. Um, that's not going to fit. Wait, is that... Is that going underneath the... I don't know. I don't know anymore. Oh, yeah. Look, there's like a gap there. I can't fill that gap. Wait. Do we need to bring that up one? Is that what's going on? Maybe. There's going to be little gaps all over this thing, isn't there? Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. Okay. Here, let's set this down for a second because we're going to need to adjust this one. It's in the wrong position. And it's annoying me. All right, let's do rotate, turn, rotate. And should be able to get this right here. Uh, turn. There, that's even. Even. Nice. <clears throat> um, so somebody wrote in the comments, and this this was a funny comment because um, I can I, I say this all the time. If somebody writes first, and then somebody right after them writes first, it's really it's okay. If you're three hundredth person to actually comment and you write first, I'm I'm cool with that. Like you could be everybody that's ever done a comment could say first at any time and I'd be like nice because it's it, there's no reward for it there's no like recognition for being first it's just the pride of being like oh he's got no views I'm the first one you know and if you want to do that at any time I don't mind I really don't so what was funny is there was uh, somebody that commented and said, for everybody who says first, I've got a blue shell with your name on it. Well, what that means is uh, it's a Mario Kart reference. The blue shell will always capture or will always hit the person who's in first. So it's funny, right? So I replied to him and I said, first? <laughs> he wrote back, oof, did not see that coming. <laughs> it's funny. Fun times. <clears throat> Anyhow, uh, oh, good news from work. My uh, boss is doing the um, extra life. We are going to be doing the extra life uh, charity. It's a 12 hour marathon of playing games. And it doesn't have to be video games, it can be board games, it can be online games, it can be multiplayer, console, does not matter. The point is to play games to raise money for charity and it's a, like a sponsored event. So I'm still debating on whether or not I want to tie my code primate label to it, which would draw a huge crowd. But then like, then there's the whole, well, you gotta tie your company name to it and everything else. So I'm really up to debate for whether or not I should, but I still, I still think it'd be good because that's, that's the basis of like my entire genre, my entire thing, that's what I do, is I play games for kids, I play games for charities, I play games for myself, I play games because I like them and I think they're fun, and I'm a huge advocate for it. Any place or any business that says, games are not allowed, they're a destruction, okay, fine. If you want to hold that stance and if you want to block people from getting out to Twitch and block people from getting out to... Um, Game Pro Magazine. I, I don't know any kind of gaming site if you block them from getting to game sites Then you need to block them from CNN. You need to block them from um, all sports sites all NASCAR All things that involve the basically the same thing a form of entertainment of some kind if you're going to block video games you need to block all games and that's my personal opinion it's like uh trying to block certain social media sites, but not block others. Like, um, oh, I don't know. You block Facebook, but you won't block Twitter. Or you block Twitter, but you won't block Facebook. If you're going to block one of them, you need to block all of them. And that is my, like I said, that's my personal opinion. The other thing that comes with that is um, if somebody is on their lunch break, then I highly believe like they should be given the two hours to do go to any 
sight. But there's also there's other things that go along with that. Well, who's paying for the internet? Well, the company's paying for the internet, so companies should have final say on everything. But I also believe that it should be um, fair, because if you were blocking video games um, because somebody is a gamer and not a sports person, or if you consider um, sports are or like games are a sport. They have moved in that general direction and they, we have MLG, we have Major League Gaming, we have teams, sponsors, like there's huge things that happen in the game world, like the world of gaming and, uh, sorry, I'll get off my soapbox now. I'm just, I'm just yelling at the world. <laughs> and this is all about niceness. I want you to understand that Blocking one and not blocking the other is a form of discrimination. Whereas um, I know that it's it's not looked at like that, and it's because that's just the way it is, and that's the way the world works. But if you think about it deeply, that's discriminating against somebody's belief. Because I believe video games are a form of relaxation. They are a form of tension release. They are a form of education. They are a form of um, dexterity building, critical thinking. You playing video games can be a career. It can be a life-changing experience. Ooh, somebody's got a tall tower. Oh, does somebody know Sam's here? Hello, hello? Hi. Okay. Well. How long have we been recording? I, I want to make sure that I'm not going to go over this time. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've been co recording for 12 minutes. Oh my goodness. Goodness me. Jump down, dude. Jump down. Jump down. Yay. Am I going to be able to place them in there? Oh no, I've covered up my spot. All right, hold on. Let's get that light over there. A light will help. Walkity walk, 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 walk. Walking up the conveyor belts. The reason I got conveyors cause I walk so fast And so I can take the presents from the bottom to the top Zoop <laughs> Alright, let's grab this Stick it that direction Like that That'll be good And I need something to aim for Come here you Yay Just gonna use this We're just gonna aim For right here I hear people. I hear people running around. No, no, no. Blacklist. Oh no. <laughs> nope. Sorry, dude. Mm. Sorry, I'm still burnt from the last scammer. Not saying that you're a scammer, not saying that like you're not a nice person, just mm -mm. nope. Mm -mm. Are there two of them? Oh, there's two of them. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, wait. Abby's already on the blacklist. Did she walk on the base and then disappear? <gasps> I mean, oh, <laughs> sorry. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? What are you doing? Don't block. I'm totally blocking. I'm sorry. Nope. Nope. Not doing it. Have a nice day. Please come again. Alright. And here we go. Sorry. I'm just, I'm still really, really paranoid about what happened to Sam. I think Abby has lag or something, or she has used B tools and has deleted the barrier. Because that's the only way I could see her walking on the base and then getting blocked off of it. And that's happened twice now. She walked in over here on this side, got onto the base, and then disappeared, which means the blacklist worked. But then she did the same thing over here and walked on it. That's crazy 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 okay that means that she's getting past the barrier somehow 
And again, it could just be lag. It could all come down to just lag. And it happens, and that's okay. And that is okay. Welcome to Samper Life Daily Dose of Lag. We're actually moving really, really well today. Double check, test, test, okay. I got microphone, got sound, everything's recording. Been recording for 15 minutes and 40 seconds, so. Wow. Everything seems to be going to plan. Man, what am I gonna do once I have this thing built? By the way, huge shout out to the, the guys that joined me and everybody that gave the power to help me build these stacks because without them, this episode probably wouldn't be happening right now because they they really did. Anybody that's got the power, it only takes one unit of wood to fill in any blueprint, which is amazing. Thank you, Defaultio. Thank you, Josh. Somebody was asking the other day if uh, Defaultio had his own channel. I'm like, yeah, it's Josh Sheldon. He did the, um, uh, the step motor organ which was so cool. I got to see uh, pictures of it before he actually did the video of it. Um, there was step by step where he like cut out the rings and he was testing the motors and he was testing the, uh, the rubber stoppers that touched the wheels. Like it was really cool. Now is this gonna go up one more level? Yeah, I'm gonna have a. How many levels do we have? We've got. We've got two levels right now. I wanted a third level, so third level is not gonna be quite as big, and it will collapse down downward. Uh oh, that's not right. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh my defaultio. Move. Uh oh. Nope, 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 nope. Gonna move that one back in place. Oh gosh. There we go. Is there somebody down there again? Hold on. Oh. Wait, is that my truck? I think that's my truck. Yeah, we're fine. Has anybody else joined us? Anybody else I need to blacklist? No? Okay, cool. Doop 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 boop boom boom. Build in the tree house, tree house, tree house. Alright, get in there. There we go. By the way, I love this build system. Like I've played around with a lot of different sandboxes and a lot of different um games on Roblox. And for the most part I have not seen another building system that's quite like this one. It is, it is quite unique. Quite unique. It's quite quaint in a quiet, quaint place like this. Quite quaint. All right, uh, did that? Yeah, that's lined up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, is that even? Man, it's like I measured or something. I don't know if that's going to be correct, but let's try throwing it in there. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Come on, come on, nope. Rotate. Oh, zoom in a little bit. Nope, rotate again. Nope. Turn, turn. Let's try that. Oh, oh. Ah, yay. Move. So remember, when placing thin floors, or large tiles, I guess it's, it's large tiles, if you zoom the camera and then rotate the piece, you should be able to make it. All right, so that's a nice area. And 
I don't know. Is there, are we going to be able to fill in this gap right here? I think I measured this one last time. It did not work. All right, let's do turn, rotate. Yeah, it's not going to fit in there. Come on, come on. Nope. Rotate, rotate. That did, that's way off, way off code. And the reason it's not going to fit is because of this one being off slightly. That's okay. We can put like a window or something here. Let, let the light in. It'd be a nice window. It's good. All right, let's do turn and rotate turn. And go back to this right up here. Oh, come on, come on. Hmm. Turn, turn. Oh, yes. Perfect. Move. Nope, nope, nope. Needs to come up one. Uh, turn, turn. There we are. And... I think this is going to be good. This should be the last little piece. Oh, no. Turn, turn. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Like, this is... This is coming together so wonderfully. I just tried to pick that up like a normal normal block piece. Alright. Set this down right there. Good. And... One last one. Right here. Oh, I just realized I need to go buy some things because the turkeys should still be here. I think they're still here. Maybe. Oh no, what if they're not here? They were here last night, Sam. Hmm, we should be fine. We'll be fine. If Sam doesn't have one, then I'll have Code give him one. Or something. Maybe. Oh, there we go. Because Sam needs a turkey too. And we should probably decorate for um, winter, or for uh, Christmas coming up. We got some Christmas lights. We can go get some more Christmas lights and put them on the outside of the house. That'd be a good idea. All right, let's go get some turkeys. Turkey time, turkey time. Running around in my maroon truck. Turkey time, feel the lag. Turkey time in a maroon truck. Maroon or it's crim crimson. Oh, crimson. I'm gonna call it crimson. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. You're an Xbox character, aren't you? Whoa, whoa. <coughs> By the way, there is cross platforms. So if you're on PC, you can play with your friends on Xbox. It works. Boink. Anybody say anything? Can I give money, please? Nope. Sorry. Uh, yes, I will buy. Just keep giving money. Buy more? Yes, please. Ah, oh, Sam! I have not seen you in quite some time, sir. Oh. Wait, did that not... Oh, no. Did I purchase his wire? Whoops. I totally bought his wire. Sorry, dude. Sorry, that was my fault. Sorry. Sorry, Sam. Here, did you want to buy a turkey? Do do do. <laughs> Lol, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much, Tom. All right, Sam, come back and see us sometime. You've got it. I'll be back. 
sometime in the future. It'll be cool. Right. Head in this direction. Uh, I should probably place those up in my treehouse. So let's go here, here, and here. We'll leave the wire down here. And let's go park our truck. So many ideas. So many things we could do. I know I've got like uh, like three different series that are going on right now. But I hope it's not confusing. Like Lumber Tekken 2 is is a really big game, but I've got my I got my code primate. And that's my main character, that's the guy that's got the quad saws and the awesomeness. And then I've got Code Primate that plays with Dig Dug in survival mode, which is, is just a, us playing without any kind of outside influence. And then I've got um, the Let's Play Lumber Tycoon 2. Whoa. <laughs> and that, that's going on like right now. That's, that's where um, it's had two seasons. We're in second season, and every once in a while I'll get on a streak, and I'll make a whole bunch of them. And then other times, I'll just get in here and build for a little bit, just like I did tonight. Uh-oh. I think there's one that I left out there somewhere at random crazy. Oh, no. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2, or, sorry, Let's Play Lumber Tycoon 2, with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, playing as Sam Per Life, who was supposed to just be an alt character for one, one show, one video. And look where he's gone and grown, and because of you guys and requesting be like, Bring back Sam! I love the bacon hair! Here he is, and we love him. We love you, Sam! My night-night! Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below, check out the uh, Hello Juniper links and the um, Sturdy Guns links for all the merchandise purchases and stuff like that. Have a great night, and we'll talk to you very soon. <sighs> oh, no, that's the wrong button. Hold on. Oh, gosh. No, not that button. The, there. Okay. Yeah, I got the I got the button. You, you got okay, on the count of 3, ready? 1 2 3. Outro.